Sometimes we may have variables that come about by loops or other aspects of the problem, which need to be stored as part of a list. Think about finding primes. The most efficient way to test if a number is prime is to check divisibility by all the primes that come before its square root. But if we're writing an algorithm to find those primes in order, we need the algorithm to keep track of all the primes that we've found so far. Also, we might just want to keep track of all the solutions to our problem. Let's write an algorithm that just writes out our 17 times tables. This will give us a feel for how lists work in Scratch. First, create a list from the variables tab. And then we can see these new options, adding things to the list, clearing the list, inserting in particular places, etc. And so we'll need a variable for what we're multiplying by. Let's initialize this to one. Then each time around the loop, we want to insert 17 times that variable into the list. And then we increase the variable by one so that we increase the number that we're going to multiply by. You can see that if we insert at item one, then it'll shift everything else in the list downwards also, if we're going to keep running the program over and over again, it's good to clear the list at the beginning so that we erase any data that came about through previous iterations. We can also use lists and use the random number generator to pick from them. For example, let's make a program that randomly chooses rock, paper or scissors. First, we need to set up the list And then we can make the cat say one of the items. Choosing that item using the random number from one to three. 